Yogasha Nice Star Center. Let's take a few moments to stretch out our hamstrings, our quads, and our hip flexors. So when you're ready, coming up to a kneeling position, step the right foot out in front. We're not taking it long into a lunge. We're going to keep the joints at 90 degree angles. So the back knee, 90 degrees, front leg, 90 degrees. If you do have a sore knee, get an extra towel or roll the mat over, giving yourself some extra cushioning. Let the hands stack on the top knee, front knee, lock the arms in, and helps us just to press away, keeping the body upright, shoulders balanced above hip, tuck the tailbone, we're driving this left thigh, hip forward into the stretch, pushing away from the right foot as we do, creating this length and energy down this left hip flexor and quadricep. We can tuck the chin in, make sure we're not falling away, foundation's balanced. Take a few breaths, breathing into this feeling of stretching and opening. If you feel some release, you might be able to reposition, squaring off the pelvis, noticing how it feels for you. Next inhale, let the left arm float up, lean across to your right. Try not to let the hips swing away, so if you need to, right hand can press down on this right thigh hip, keeping it stable. You may feel a deeper stretch on this left thigh, hip flexor quadricep, maybe outer edge of hip and leg, and buttock, where is it? Where do you feel the stretch? You can try and slow the breaths into this feeling. And then exhale, we're going to take this top arm, take it out wide to the left, and this right leg out to the right. Now this left hip flexor gets pushed back or pinched back, more height for the left hand, grab a block or a chair or something you need, pull the left hip flexor forward into the stretch. Right leg long, right arm up and over, and just take a few moments, stretching and opening. If it's easy, left hand flat to the mat, Keep breathing. And then exhale, this top arm sweeps down, hands come up onto the hips. We want to try and balance the hips off. So again, if you're pinched back, see what's happening. Can we bring this left hip flexor forward? You may need to move the right foot a little further forward if the right hip's grabbing and pinching. Off to the side if you could, balance off. Bring this right thigh down and in, left arm up, inhale. Lean across to that right leg. Now push away from the foot whilst you're here, engaging, breathing. Slow the breaths as much as you can. Left hip flexor forward, right hip down and balance. Internal rotation on this right leg if you could. And then exhale, we're sweeping the arm down, we're going to change the legs, coming in onto the right knee, bring that left foot out in front, so again 90 degree angles with the joints, so we're not coming right into the lunge, staying upright, 90 degree angle, we're going to lock the arms in again, so hands stack one on top of the other on that left knee, press into the foundations, are we stable, or are you tight, the hip wants to swing out on that left side, Maybe feel it, are they balanced? Hands lock in. Get a bit of a tuck of the tailbone. And driving this right knee down forward, hip forward. And we feel the length on this hip flexor quadricep, perhaps outer edge of leg and hip. Where do we notice? Again, tuck the chin, shoulders stacked above the hips. Keep breathing. So use the breath into these feelings. And opening up this right side more, inhale, arm up, and lean across. This left hand again, you may want to bring it up higher, press down on this left thigh hip as you lean across and open. Make sure you're not falling back in the ribs, lower ribs in. Driving this right thigh and hip forward. And 
and exhale, right arm sweeps down, take it off to the side, left foot out to the opposite side. So again, this right hip flexor forward, if it's pinched back, higher up on the base hand, pull the hip through, and left arm coming over. Again, if it's easy, right hand flat, protect the neck, looking up forward or down. And really again, driving right hip forward, focus there, and stretch your top side body lengthen. Keep breathing into the feelings. Exhale, the top arm sweeps down. Hands come up under the hips and balance up. So again, if you're pinched back, you may need to bring that left foot further in front. Try to open up this right hip. Left hip, try and keep it balanced down. Notice it's hitched out. Bring it down as much as you can. Right arm comes up, inhale. Right hip flexor open. Lean across, lean to your left. Now push away from that left foot as you lean to it and keep breathing. So foundation's active as we breathe into the stretch. Exhale, the arm sweeps down, coming onto the left knee. We're going to come back onto the right foot. Lift it through, we're going to take it longer this time. Shuffle it along, hands each side of this front right foot. You want the knee to stack above the heel. Now we're dragging this left thigh and hip flexor forward into the stretch. As we drag forward, tuck the tailbone, come up onto fingertips, tuck the chin in and breathe. Push back from the right foot as you do, and notice the stretch. Again, slow the breaths, directing the breath to wherever you feel. And then into the hamstring stretch, pull the toes up, extend the belly back, and elongate. So if you go back and your lower back's rounding, your hamstrings are tight and they're pulling the buttock under, you need to bend the leg more. Extend the sit bone up, lift the chest higher, maybe blocks underneath the hands, you need to be higher to give you stability for the stretch. Bend the legs some more. We don't want the knee hyperextended. Keep breathing into this feeling. So again, protect the spine while we stretch the hamstring, the back of our right leg. And then exhale, we're mobilizing. Let the right foot come down, sink in deep. Push away from the foot, inhale, the toes pull up, extend back, exhale. Come through with the foot again, inhale, sink in deep, exhale. Inhale, pull the toes up, extend back, exhale. Again, come forward, sink in deep for the full exhalation. Inhale, pull back, pull the toes up, and exhale fully. Bring both hands across to the left corner diagonally, and then tilt the sit bone, extend back long at the angle, as if the spine's off to the diagonal now. And feel the line of energy shift underneath the leg. And notice inner, outer, back of leg, wherever you feel the stretch opening for you. Remember, not hyperextending, lengthen to where you can. And then exhale fully, bring it back to centre. Bring the toes to turn out, sink forward, knee turns out, toes out. If the knee goes past the heel, shuffle along, take a longer stance. Or longer legs and then lengthen the body, forearms if it's easy for you, bring the chest long. And keep breathing into this feeling, hips, legs, glutes, where do we notice? Try not to hang the head. Lift the chest, lift the back of the head. Just 
Exhale fully, walk the hands in and up. Keep the foot out that bit wider, pull the toes up again, tilt the little toe side of the foot down as you stretch back, feeling up more, perhaps the sciatic nerve line, outer edge of the leg, a few more breaths. Bring the toes up neutral position, hand outside edge of the leg. Stretch back, notice as the stretch opened anywhere for you, elongate. The foot comes to the mat when you're ready, sink in deep again. Lift the hands up off the floor and we're changing the legs. Right leg comes back, left foot out in front. So again, shuffle along, hands each side of the front foot. Knee stacking above the heel. So we push back from the left as we drag right thigh and hip forward. Opening this right hip flexor quad. Up under fingertips, chin in, round the upper back. Breathe into the stretch, open through it. Press away from this left foot, press down, drive through it. So you're not just collapsing on the hip. Feel the stretch. And exhale fully, pull the toes up, extend back to that hamstring stretch. So under the leg, if you pull back, and again the back is rounding, the buttocks are getting pulled under, bend the leg more. Lift the chest more, extend the lower back, not rolling into flexion. So hands might not need to be up on blocks, extend back and lengthen to where you can. Slow the breath. Chest lifted, shoulders back, chin in, back of neck low. Now is this stretch the same as the previous leg or do you notice differences? Completely different, less or more intense, what do we remember? And then exhale fully, let the foot come down. Sink in deep, again, full exhalation. Move with the inhale, extend back. Full exhale and deepen to where you can. Again, inhale, the foot comes down. Sink in deep, full exhalation. Inhale, pull back, toes back, exhale. Again, foot down, sink in deep, full exhalation. Pull back, toes pull back, and stretch back long. Now change the angle, hands across to the right corner diagonally. Extend the sit bone out behind you so your spine's off at the diagonal, and stretch. Make sure the knee's not hyperextended. Find this different angle, under the leg, inner leg, outer leg, what do we feel? Slow the breaths into it. In. Once you do, turn the toes out, start to come through, walk the hands forward. As you bend through, if that knee goes forward of the heel, shuffle that left foot along, toes out, knee out. Sinking through, if it's easy, sliding it longer, down onto our forearms. Keep breathing, pushing back from the left foot, right knee, right thigh, dragging through. Lift the chest, chin in, back of neck long. Slow the breaths. And feeling around these hips, legs and glutes on this second side. And then exhale fully. Walk the hands in, keep the toes turned out. Just pull the foot back, keeping the toes out, hitting that sciatic nerve line up the outer edge of the leg. Keep breathing. And then turn the foot up, hand outside edge, straight back, stretch it back. 
and then sink the foot down and sink in deep. Push away, bring the hands off the floor, step the left leg back, we're bringing this right leg out in front again, 90 degree angle. So the back foot, if the knee's sore, you may need a towel for this one. Can you bring that back leg up? Finding a balance in it where you can and we're holding onto that left foot. So really being careful with the knee, bringing the buttock towards the heel. Shoulders above hips, a little bit of the tuck of the tailbone and breathe. You can also do this against the wall, the foot pressing against the wall, and then you just keep pressing your buttocks back towards the wall, opening that degree of stretch on that lift, left hip flexor quad. <laughs> Find your balance in it where you can today. Now we can release the foot off, tuck the toes, left hand under shoulder, lift off that back knee, top arm up, open up, sweep it long, bring it all the way down. We're going to step back to down dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long, press your heels towards the yoga mat and then come down onto the knees. Gentle dip of the spine, look up, take the buttocks all the way back to the heels and then roll the back up, chin tucked in and coming up to kneeling. High kneeling in your time, second side, so now the left foot through and now bending up that right leg and reach back for the foot. So noticing it's one side stable and if you happen to be cramping, lift up and extend out, lengthen out the back of that leg. So when you're ready, we're bringing that foot up, noticing how that feels for you. Both hands around if you're stable, tuck the tailbone, lifting the spine upright and bringing the buttocks back towards the heel. So no forcing in these stretches. Again, if you feel more mobile, you keep taking it back towards the wall perhaps and you press your buttocks back to the heel, really opening up this right hip flexor quadricep. So when you're ready, we're easing it off. Right wrist under the shoulder, lift off that back knee, left arm up, stretch, sweep it over along the side of the ear, circle it down and we're stepping back to down dog. Take the buttocks high, stretch back long. So you're welcome to walk it out on the spot, bend and straighten, swing the hips side to side, mobilize. And when you're ready, coming back into your down dog. Press the feet away. Feel you lift your body up away from the legs so you're not pinching in the front of your hips. Shoulders broad across the upper back. Really push away from the hands, stretching the buttocks high, and then heels down towards the yoga mat, stretching the back of your legs. Feel the hamstrings opening and lengthening for you. Calf muscles, Achilles, where do you feel? Take some slow and deeper breaths in and out. And when you're ready to release, simply come down onto your knees. Gentle dip of the spine, look up. Big toes touch, you can take the knees out wide. Let your body stretch back, surrender through the legs and give yourself a moment to soften. Taking as much time as you wish to here to surrender completely. And when you're ready to finish, simply drag the arms in, roll the back up, vertebra by vertebra, chin tucked all the way, the head eventually will come up last. And have a lovely day. Thank you.